Hi, I'm Matt Fight. We're down here at Jenison Manufacturing to show you the process, design, and quality that went into the brand new certified KTA wet film thickness gauge. We are proud to partner with a great company like Jenison that takes the ultimate care to ensure you have a very accurate gauge. The entire process begins at a 200 ton Komatsu press. Jenison designed specific tooling that could capture both mils and microns on opposite sides of each head. The coiled material, aluminum, is run through the progressive die completing a different operation with each strike of the press. Starting with the mils microns designation and finishing up with the outside profile and overall shape. The process for stamping the straps is almost identical. The material is different, steel, and the tooling is specific to the strap, but all else remains the same. The stenciling is done first, then holes in overall shape and outside profile. After the stamping of the straps is complete, they are sent to be coated to achieve the desired finish and level of protection. After the components are stamped, the heads are funneled to two separate stations for secondary operations. The first is a vertical milling machine to mill the teeth of both heads. After milling, they will be packed and organized by type. At this point, head two is complete. Because of the precision needed for the one to six mil range of head number one, they added a wire cutting process. Done on a Fanuc wire EDM machine, this process uses an electrical charge and brass wire to cut the metal rather than tooling. The process was used on the 1 to 6 mil side of head 1, so they are able to achieve the tight tolerances and repeatability of accuracy. Wire cutting is performed on the 1 to 6 mil side to achieve a tolerance of plus or minus 2 tenths of a mil. The tolerance from 7 to 60 mils is plus or minus 5 tenths of a mil. Before assembly, they need to verify the accuracy of the heads. Using a fully programmable Zeiss Kentura coordinate measuring machine, they secure and run a quality check on the heads to ensure that they meet the specification. The readings are saved and recorded and then used in accordance with a C equals zero quality plan to certify the lot of gauges before shipment. The Zeiss machine is calibrated to standards traceable to NIST through a calibration laboratory accredited to ISO 17025. At this point, the straps will be back from plating and both heads will have been through inspection. A fixture and tooling that was designed and built in-house by Jenison is used to assemble each gauge. A quick functions check is performed and then they are packed for shipment. 